London Uncovered as we are moving on to a new episode and today we are talking about the pain of guilt and shame yes they say guilt is perhaps the most painful companion of death so what is guilt and shame guilt is a feeling of responsibility of remorse of some offense crime wrongdoings etc whether real or imagined it involves a violation of standards values and morals whereas shame is a basic feeling of inferiority it leaves feeling flawed unworthy or not good enough shame says i am a bad person whereas guilt says i did a bad thing they say there are four types of guilt one natural guilt two chronic guilt three collective guilt four survivor guilt natural guilt is what you feel after you think you did something wrong chronic guilt this happens from prolonged exposure to stress collective guilt this involves a sense of group or shared responsibility survivor guilt traumatic events such as witnessing a large scale tragedy may cause feelings of remorse and sadness shame can often lead to addiction to alcohol drugs food work sex perfectionism anxiety danger depression etc research shows for women shame is centered around looking perfect doing perfect and being perfect anything less is shaming and for men it is failure at work in sports in marriage with money with children being wrong and not doing it right etc so how can we deal with it experts suggest face our feelings by sharing confessing and being honest learn to forgive ourselves as well as others examine the origins of our guilt clarify new values for ourselves and take realistic action apologize and make amends let go of the past and above all practice gratitude guilt belongs in the past and by building our confidence and raising our self esteem we can make better choices in the future and one author puts it beautifully when he says i've written many poems but not a single one mentions the word courage and that is because i have none i do what i told by guilt and by fear which are so very loud that my voice i can't hear so let's go and see what people have to say about it. Tell us, what does guilt and shame mean to you? Well, uh, guilt is uh, when uh, you know, like you uh, do something wrong to someone, and then you uh, like you think about your actions and you feel guilty about it. And uh, you now it's a perfectly normal thing and a good thing. And then afterwards, uh, when you like reflect on your actions, then you like you feel like uh, a sense of shame. And uh, that's like, you know, that like can um, get you going to uh, sort of like make amends. So how does one deal with it? Well, you know, if you do something wrong and you do feel guilty, you've really got to uh, like accept it that you have done something wrong and uh, try and make amends. Uh, I think that's where the shame comes in. That pushes you to like apologise, uh, which actually you know, like makes you feel a bit better. Uh, Sometimes. What message would you give to the world, Nigel? Oh, you know, I say to the world that if you do do something wrong, you feel guilty about it, to uh, like you know, admit it and uh, apologise uh, uh, to uh, whoever you've offended, 
and if you're feeling shame it's a perfectly normal thing and uh, yeah it's one of those things we've got to live with really Nigel as always a pleasure thank you very much All right, thank you very much tell us what does guilt and shame mean to you guilt and shame are two healthy normally healthy human feelings uh, it's appropriate to feel guilt sometimes uh, that's you convicting yourself knowing you've done wrong shame it's natural to feel bad about something you've done but there's also guilt and shame that's not yours to carry and you shouldn't carry it so how does one deal with it I work out whether it's right and proper that you feel guilt and shame or not and if it's not um, it's, it's unhealthy to carry it what message would you give to the world David be convicted of when you've done wrong feel bad about it because you should um, and just resolve to do better David once again a pleasure you're welcome thank, thank you. you very much you're welcome tell us what does guilt and shame mean to you yeah for me so guilt uh, and shame they're they're based on normally you know our shortcomings as human beings a lot of the time it's the things our actions um, or a moral flaw um, um, or some kind of uh, negative uh, reaction to something going on around us and you feel those emotions. My earliest memory of having guilt and shame was when I was about four or five years old at primary school. I don't know why I did it. I, I stole a friend's um, watch. I just really liked the look of it and um, I put it on my wrist so I felt guilty straight away because he, he was you know, obviously you know trying to find out where it was. And anyway, it came to the end of the day, the teacher um, must have suspected that it was me because I was probably quite quiet. So she pulled up my sleeve and there was this watch that my friend was missing. And so I felt the guilt all throughout that day of taking the watch and then the shame of being uh, publicly, publicly shamed to all of my classmates. So um, I, I still remember that to this day, and that friend, you know, we're still friends now. We joke about it, um, you know, because because we can we can look back and reflect. You know, we were just kids. So how does one deal with it? Yeah, so I think that any grown adult of um, you know um, of an age will have experienced guilt or, or shame because. Um, like I say, you know, a lot of the times we, we do things or we, we witness things because you can feel guilt and shame for other people, you know. So when I was um, in my teens, for some reason, I used to be the person that people would tell all their secrets to. And, you know, I'm not going to tell you what those secrets were, obviously, but I always used to wonder why that was. But I was, some of the, some of the things that I was told were quite, I'd say, quite graphic and I'm not very pleasant. So I used to feel the person's guilt and shame myself because they were telling me. And I think I think they felt better for confessing to somebody like me about uh, their experiences. So it kind of works in, in that way. What message would you give to the world, Tom? Yeah, you know, guilt and shame, they're um, obviously very negative and, and self-damaging um, emotions to have. So, you know, the best way to avoid it is just to live your life in the right way if you can so that's what i would say tom once again a pleasure thank you very much you're welcome sandra
guys, we come to the end of this episode and we've been talking about the pain of guilt and shame. Dr. Joseph Burgo identifies four types of shame. Unrequited love, being neglected by a parent. Exclusion, being ostracized from a group or school. Unwanted exposure, being humiliated in public and disappointed expectations like failing at a goal. The role of shame in relationships can be found in each person's beliefs about themselves. If we truly want to experience love and belonging, we must believe that we are worthy of love and belonging. We can learn to identify the roots of feelings of shame, to understand the impact on a relationship and to work toward diminishing the inner voice that tells us we are not good enough, whether our guilt is justified or based on imagined responsibility. One thing we have to remember that we all human and we all make mistakes. We have to try to acknowledge our feelings, make amends if necessary, and then forgive ourselves and others. If we need help, we should go to a professional 